Howdy all, I am Adam, the Renaissance Nerd. If you are a frequent visitor to this channel, you, you probably know that as a gamer, I am into MMOs, specifically MMORPGs. I have been playing these since 2002. Off and on, I take breaks every couple of years because you don't want to get burned out, and also games get boring, and you're hoping something new comes out. That being said, I've had plenty of experience in these games. I've had plenty of experience in a time when nobody cared what anybody said in a chat room. Nobody cried like a little stuck pig triggered baby when somebody trolled them or bothered them or went at them in any sort of fashion in these games. It is what it is. If you are a veteran of an MMO, you know that the public chat, the world chat, the city chat, whatever you want to call it, whatever game you are, the chat that is where everybody can see it automatically, you're automatically put into that room. You know it's a goddamn sewer. It's a sewer. People say horrible things to them, to, to anybody that comes across. They, they, they say horrible jokes. It's a minefield of trash. You know it, and if you're smart, you turn it off, and you just leave your guild chat, your private chat, your party chat on, because that's all that's relevant. But we live in a world now where SJWs, virtue signalers, identitarians have infested every level of our society. And they are definitely in the world of games and games development. And <laughs> Activision Blizzard. We all know what's gone on with them for the past couple of years. They are very infested with SJWs at this point. And every little thing they do is to bend the knee. So when I saw this the other day here at Bounding into Comics, Blizzard Entertainment now requires World of Warcraft players to sign anti-harassment social contract before logging in. I've played WoW. I didn't play it for long, but I played it. I don't like the game. I think it's old. I think it's the worst example of an MMO at this point in time. It, it, it's not inventive. It doesn't do anything new. It's just the same routine over and over again. And not to mention, I think, this, I think everything about it is crap. I did not like my time in WoW. That being said, there should be a certain level of freedoms a lot of these games. You go into these games expecting to just play and have fun. Now, nobody should be subject to actual harassment. And I've seen actual harassment in games, and when it's when it's when it happens, it gets dealt with appropriately by the devs. GMs come in, they 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 record the conversation, they get the screenshots, and they deal with it. That's how it's always been. This frightens me. This frightens me. In their latest effort to try and rehabilitate their public image, Blizzard Entertainment has introduced a new anti-harassment social contract which WoW players must agree to before logging to the game. Here's what it says. Hail, traveler, and welcome to the world of Warcraft. Azeroth is a living world full of people like you, other players, with different backgrounds, cultures, experiences, and histories, who have all come together to play WoW. Every player deserves to have the world they feel safe in, so please take a minute to read our social contract. And I get, there's a screen cap of it. In addition to encouraging players to make friends, play the team, a fifth other than help answer questions that have others have in chat channels, the contract also warns players against engaging in a number of behaviors which the developer has deemed unacceptable. Now, here's where we should be afraid, because here comes the language police. The language police. We recognize the internet is not always a safe haven. It's the internet. It never has been. It's, a, it's the wild freaking West. You get on the internet, expect to get crap. I'm probably going to get crap for this video. I don't care. It's my take and my opinion. And if you have a problem with it, go stuff yourself and go to another channel. You, you're not going to enjoy anything I have to say then. <sighs> According to the developer, prohibited behavior includes hate speech, including negative comments that target another player's identity, including aspects like race, gender, or ability. Harassment, threats, or abuse of derogatory language and behaviors, and spamming advertising and other disruptive behaviors. Now, you just have to understand, it's going to be their definition of derogatory language, of what 
hate speech qualifies. And in this in this world we live in now, in this snowflake-infested world, the word retort, spaz, moron, idiot, take your pick. These words can be classified as hate speech, derogatory language. These words have been used forever on the internet and in gaming lobbies and chat rooms. Gamers are a salty bunch. We're a competitive bunch. We will throw out terms, language, to try and get under the skin of those we are fighting and playing against. Because we want to get a little, it's, it's a mental warfare game. We want to get in their heads a little bit, mess with them, get a little bit of an edge when we go into the field if we're going to be playing a player versus player environment. Now, as I said, actual Harassment is, it should never be tolerated. But what we're walking into here is Blizzard saying that if you called someone, again, let's just say retard, which is not an offensive word. It's just a term for idiot and stupid that we have used for decades. But no, if you say that now, and if they classify that as derogatory language, as hate speech, because somebody's fee-fee's got hurt, and because you signed their little pledge before you logged in, they can likely ban your account and kick you off of their game. A game that you, because World of Warcraft is a pay-to-play game, a game that you have given them money. And if you're a longtime player, probably thousands upon thousands of dollars and thousands upon thousands of hours of time and investment. If you say one wrong word now that they will deem inappropriate, they'll, they'll, they'll can your ass. You're done. You cannot play their game. How is this fun? How is this anything to do with actually playing games? Why not just leave it the system that it's always been? If something happens, then it gets reported. And if the evidence lines up that it is true harassment and not just somebody giving somebody a hard time in a, in a, in a PvP match or just being a, a, a regular jerk, then it would get taken care of. Because that's how it always always been in MMOs. This is frightening. And if this starts appearing in all types of online play, online play games, then I think it's time to be afraid. Because they don't want us to have fun. They want us to operate in their tight, little, very regimented, rule-heavy environment of gaming. Gaming is supposed to be about freedom and fun. Enjoyment to just play and lose yourself for a little while to get away from the, the, the dreariness of our re regular everyday lives. This wants to take away your freedom to play and have fun. Now, I think Blizzard is a shit company. I'm never giving them my money again. Whether, definitely not in WoW, but not for any game. My advice, give this a thought before you resub for your WoW account next time, if you are still a WoW player or playing any other Blizzard game, because it's going to appear in all their games before long because they're serving their identitarian masters because they will bend the knee because they don't want to be canceled again. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube where I will try my best to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about crazy Stan or SJW Fifi's. Hit the notification button, share my video if you like what I'm preaching, and by all means, leave comments because I want to hear from real actual people. I do not care what the cowards behind keyboards, the Stans and the SJWs have to say. I will never care because they're retards and easily triggered and stupid. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Howdy, y'all. The first chapter of my fantasy novel, Guardian of Innocence, is now available for free. Click the link in the description below and join me in an old-school good versus evil story where Cole Larrys, a disillusioned mercenary, suddenly finds himself dropped into the middle of a destiny he never asked for as the protector of Jania Sarai, a blacksmith's daughter who may hold the answers to finally stopping a millennia-old threat to the world of Rosetta. 
Cole's perceptions of love, family, trust, loyalty, as well as his very beliefs in fate versus free will, shall be tested as he struggles to keep Jania safe from the minions of the dreaded Zabor Tal, former champion of the gods and now ruler of the long forgotten Yis Empire. Click the link below, enjoy the first chapter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and help it grow so that I can bring you the full story in the near future. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therennerd at gmail.com. That email's for channel business only, so I check it on a daily basis. Also, you can find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can find me at Rumble and Odyssey, the Renaissance Nerd. Thank you again. See you next time.